first guest starred on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Now you can see him on Lifetime's How to Look Good Naked. Please welcome Carson Kressley. <laughs> Oh, Carson, how are well, you? You I'm look good. I'm super. So do you. We have, like, the same haircut going on. Well, do we really? Yours, Yours is, like, jacked up on Viagra or something, though. It's really tall. There is actual Viagra in my hair. I thought so. Does it, is it too much? I mean, you're no, a style person. It's is fun. it okay? It's, it's fun. It's free. It's you. Yeah, yeah. Embrace it. Okay. All right. Embrace it. Well, how have you been? I haven't I've seen you in a while. Good. Have you been good? I've been good. I just, um... I didn't mean to interrupt your no, sip. Go please. ahead. <laughs> I want to have a beverage. I, yeah, all right. Um, mm, vodka, delicious. Um, Everything's no, everything's good. I just got back. I was in town for a couple days, and I caught the Spice Girls. They're on tour. I went to New Jersey to see that. Yeah, we have a couple fans. And uh, Those are you, the actual Spice Girls in the crowd. Are. There's <laughs> Melanie and the other Melanie. What, what uh, well, okay, I guess they reunited, and this is, right. is, is, this is a big deal that they're, it's a... I think it's like a world tour. I have a friend who works for Roberto Cavalli, and he designed all their costumes, so he said, do you want to go? So the last minute, I was like, hey, yeah, I'm gay, let's go. Um, <laughs> so, um, I think you're like, uh, should I go? Should I? Oh, uh, gay, yes, I'll yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be like 12 or gay. Right. To really love it. Right. <laughs> So a 12-year-old gay child would just be ecstatic. That would probably, that would send him over the edge for life. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, okay, well, describe the show to me, because I don't even know uh, what a, I, I remember back in the 90s, right. because I was a regular viewer of the Spice Girls, and, right. and, and right. their shows then, well, how was it? They're all back, right? Um, and they're Scary Spice and Sporty Spice and Posh Spice, mm -hmm. and she's married to she's David Beckham. She's the one everybody knows. Posh, right. She's she, the most popular now. She married the soccer player David Beckham, right. and, and you see her everywhere. And right, and she's just basically, she doesn't even sing a lot. She just fixes her hair a lot and does it. Right. <laughs> Which, I'll take it. Like, her solo moment, they all do their own solo song. She just walks down the runway on her cell phone. I was like, that's cool. Right. I was like, I'm She's a minimalist. She yeah. does very little. Very little. And yet she's the most famous. And then I was, I couldn't think of the last spice. I was like, is it paprika or cayenne or cumin? It's right. ginger. Ginger spice. Just so for your own Yeah, yeah, I was bothered knowledge. about that, but now I know, um, yeah. And she actually gave me a shout out during the show because I was kind of in the front and she just all of a sudden, like after one song, she goes, are you that guy from TV? And I was like, is that like the Geico lizard voice? I was like, where's that coming from? And it was Ginger. And I was, it was like, Ginger, yeah, that's me. exciting. Hey. Now, uh, are the, are the costumes, are they, are they sexy? Do you think they're sexy costumes? They are sexy. Um, most of the Spice Girls have had babies. Right. Even baby spices are having babies. Isn't right. it ridiculous? Right. And, uh, but they still look really hot. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was kind of alarmed that I thought they What's were so the hot. What's the raciest it gets? Is it like leather? Is it, no, I mean... there was actually one point where Scary Spice mm -hmm. took like a dad, like an innocent dad from the audience and took him up on stage and she was singing like a real like rock and roll and she had a whip and she put him in like an S&M machine. <laughs> and then this at poor the guy end... thinks he's going to like a Wiggles concert. Yeah, and I know. He gets know. pulled out of the crowd and I mean, poor guy, it might have been the greatest thing that ever happened It got to very sexually charged and like S&M like and I'm like, this is wrong on so many levels. Yeah. Because I know his daughter was like, what are you doing with daddy? Right. You know? And they I gotta learn. They I gotta learn about S&M somewhere. I comforted her and said, it's gonna be okay. Right, right. <laughs> um, but it was fun. Now, uh, I'm still picking glitter out of my hair. It must have been a very exciting, but okay, uh, that, was, that was a fun night. Right. But, but a little exceptional. What else do you do with your time? Tell us, like, um, where does Carson Kressley go? And oh, what does he do when he wants do? to unwind and have fun? I usually go to Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. And why, why Kentucky? Um, because I have saddlebred horses down there and I just like chill and it's really relaxing. Like okay. when you're on a horse and you're trying to stay alive, you forget about all your worries. It's funny. I don't and picture you and I, I don't, I just don't picture you I'm in Kentucky. I'm very country. I love, I, I saw Loretta Lynn in concert down there. I've been seeing a lot of concerts and um, she was cool. She's a legend. And um, halfway through the show, she gave me a shout out again. And she was just like, we've got some special guests. Ida and Barbara Jean are celebrating uh, their 50th high school reunion, and we've got one of the queer guys. And everybody, like, I heard the whole, all the people next to me, like, in a lot of flannel were just like, did she say queer? Yeah. And I was like, no, she said steer. I'm with the beef council. If you need steak, <laughs> let me know. Good thinking. So, yeah, Good I didn't thinking. want to get stabbed um, or anything. No, 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 no. I'm sure they'd be Not very accepting. Not that they would. People no, no, in no. Kentucky are amazing. Very accepting. Um, yes. Now, uh, okay, uh, big event uh, just a little while ago, the Super Bowl. Uh, was, uh, not a big event for you? Did the you watch for what? Did you even do you watch the Super Bowl? No, I don't I don't like baseball. It's it's football. 
Oh, the, the Super Bowl. No, yes. I know, I'm kidding. Um, I didn't watch it. Um, I'm Do not a big fan. Like, for me, the Super for the gays, the Super Bowl is like Christmas for the Jews, okay? Like, it's a time when we get Chinese food, we catch up on our Oscar movies, <laughs> the malls are open. So it doesn't translate. You, you get to just go and have your own fun yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, I like the guys in the tight pants and everything, but I was actually on a plane. Mm -hmm. And have you flown during the Super Bowl? I don't think I have, no. And they're constantly like, for those of you who are interested in the score, New York is up by three. I'm like, could I just read my share biography, please, in peace and quiet? <laughs> Would you leave me alone? Yeah, so I'm not so into the Super Bowl, but I'm psyched that New York won. Yeah, yeah. well, of course, yeah. Everybody's yeah. silent. No, it's great. Go Giants. Oh, sorry. It's all right, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, now, um, okay, let's talk about the new show. The new it's, show, It's yeah. got a great title, How to Look Good Naked. That's, yes. That's a title that grabs you. It does, in all the right places, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a popular show. I, no. Um, no. It was a popular show in uh, Great Britain, and uh, they had called my agent or something and said, hey, would you be interested in doing this show? And I said, right. I can't do that show. I don't even look good naked. How am I going to tell other people? And then um, I saw the British version, and I watched it. It looked really great. And what it is, it's really a great way to um, help women get over body image. And women are constantly bombarded by, you know, pictures of supermodels. I'm like, that's great, and they're wonderful, but they're called supermodels because there's like nine of them. Right. You know, it's hard to look they like are, that. It's like a rare species. Yeah. yeah, it's a genetic, I don't know what. But um, so we tend to help women get over these body issues by, you know, making them take a look at themselves in the mirror and their underwear. We take them to the bra whisperer and get them fitted with new bras and panties. It's amazing. There's a guy called the bra whisperer? No, there's a lady. Oh, okay. A guy would be kind of weird. Um, and then, or um, fantastic. We just, exactly. You could come be guest bra whisperer. I'll be the bra whisperer. Come be our guest bra whisperer. I must whisperer. whisper into your bra. Yes. Your cups are speaking yeah. to me. That sounds like a great job for a guy, but anyway. And then we make them over and show how to love the body that they have and work with it and just, you know, kind of get their self-confidence back. You, have to, you probably have to really overcome some hurdles there. I mean, none of us, uh, you know, no. I like my naked body, uh, but, but, a, but a lot of people don't like themselves naked. Right, right. And, and, you know, so many women have really deep-seated issues about, you know, why they hate something about their body. So we just really build them up, and it's very positive, and get them looking great, and then the kicker, is at the end, after they're feeling great and they're in their new clothes and their hair and makeup's all done, I tell them, why don't we do a photo shoot, but let's do it nude. And then there's a lot of that look you're doing right now of what, what? So you take nude photos of them, and then what, do, do they just see the nude photos themselves? No, and, and they're just, they're tasteful nude shots, and I project them on a side of a building in L.A. at night, <laughs> and then um, I make the made-over woman. Do you, do you tell them you're going to do this, or is this just a, a prank gone awry? I mean, no, they don't know. They don't know? No, but what happens is they see their gorgeous picture up there. People are walking by. I give them the microphone, and they say, do I look good naked? And the passers-by all love the way they look, and it just kind of, you know, seals the deal that they're loving themselves. So it's pretty cool. Now, now someone... Have an awe. I had some time early. You so know, before, before you, you did this, yeah, you, you spent a little time with our director, Alan yeah, Carson. Alan. Alan, is this true? You spent hey, some Carson. time with, 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 with Carson? Indeed. Alan. Indeed. And, and he wanted to demonstrate. I love when he snaps his fingers Dude. back to us. Uh, what, what was the point of spending time with Alan? I wanted to do the same thing. I wanted Alan to love his body. So we, did, we didn't have a lot of time, so we just took like a Polaroid. And we didn't have any passers-by, so we went to the commissary you here at a, NBC. You, you took Alan and a giant Polaroid of himself naked to yes. the NBC commissary. Yes. And I made him ask passers-by in the commissary if he looked good naked. Uh, and, and I'm told that you, you got some footage of we this. We have a clip. Yeah, let's go to I it. I, don't wish, I wish we didn't, but I guess we do we have do. a clip of this. We let's do. take a look. Excuse me for just one second. I was wondering, uh, do you like the way I look naked? <laughs> if I said that, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> Good idea. Maybe we shouldn't have done it at the commissary. No, no, no. no nowhere where someone's location. eating. Uh, now, uh, before we go, because this is a, a, right. a congratulations on the show, but Thank I understand you. you had an audition today because you're trying to get work as an actor as well? Well, you know, I'm not really an actor, but if someone asks if you want to be in a movie, I'm not going to say no. So I went to this casting, which is really scary and nerve-wracking, and uh, they gave me the address, but it was the wrong address. So I went to this building, and it looked kind of anonymous, but I thought, hey, what the heck? Sometimes these places are very, like, you know, low maintenance. Sure. So I ring the buzzer, and a voice said, hello. And I was like, it's Carson. And she said, come up. So I went up all these flights of stairs, like three flights, and it looked very residential, but I still thought maybe it's just a home office. And then I rang the doorbell, and this cute blonde girl answered, and she had her hair in a ponytail, and she was wearing sweats. And I was super charming because I wanted to get the job. I was like, hey, how are you? I love your place. 
this is such a homey office. And I was walking into the living room, and it really looked like an apartment, you know, with like <laughs> sofa and chairs and a bed. Uh -huh, but I thought, this uh -huh. is very casual. But, uh, and then she just said, what are you doing here? And I was like, are you not the casting agent? And she's like, no. And I was like, love your sofa, love your hair, I gotta go. <laughs> um, so I was in some stranger's apartment. Right, well. But, yeah. And so you didn't get the part. And what part, no, are, you I, what part are you trying out for? Oh, it's, the, to, it's to be a, um, a flight attendant. You'd yeah. be a, I'd be a good, I've never been one, but I've been on many planes, and I think I could nail it. I think you, I could see you being a guy who's, you know, right. like, here's your pillow, here's right. your drink. Uh, Here. There you go. <laughs> I just did it. I just did it. That was good. Right? There you go. Very natural. You got it. All right, well, uh, the season finale of How to Look Good Naked airs Friday at 9 yep. on Lifetime, and Carson's clothing line is now available on QVC. Yeah, QVC.com. All Get right. Some uh, more threads. You know, Carson, always fun talking to you. Thank yeah, you so yeah, good much. Good luck to you, Carson Cressley, Jim DeRogatis, and Greg Todd coming up for the break. We'll <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> A toucan is loose in the audience. <laughs>